Bunny Hillites. Um, I'm Joshua. It's great to be with you this week as we delve into the second half of Ephesians. I am so excited to be looking at Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 to 16 with you today. And today, particularly, I want to really focus in on those first few verses. And I'll just I'll just read them out for you if you haven't already read them or to remind you if you have already read them. Uh, they, they read like this. I, therefore, I being Paul, therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called with all humility and gentleness, with patience bearing with one another in love eager to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace i love that that is such a beautiful and powerful few verses and 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 let, let's dig into that shall we together let's let's really go deeper and study what the Bible is trying to tell us here with these few verses, what Paul, who inspired by God, is trying to tell us with these few verses right here. He starts by saying and urging us, urging us to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which we have been called. Now, the question is, what is is this calling that we have been called to. And we know what this is because Paul actually references it three verses back, uh, three chapters back even. And he, he, he references it in Ephesians chapter one, verses four to five. And they go and read like this. Even as he chose us in him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love, he predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will. Wow. So we are called in accordance to the purpose of of his will. This calling that we are called to is salvation. Salvation. So from this basis of salvation, we are called to act with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. We have four things that we are called to live out because we are saved. This is walking in a manner worthy of our salvation. And I don't think it's a mistake that Paul writes three of the fruits of the Spirit within these four attributes. I don't think that's a mistake at all. Gentleness, Patience and love, all powerful, powerful fruits of the Spirit. But he precedes those three fruits of the Spirit with humility. And it's fascinating because one could argue that gentleness, patience and bearing with one another in love is how we interact with our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. In fact, how we're supposed to re interact with everyone around us. But humility, that doesn't affect our relationship with others. Humility is focused on our relationship with God. Humility talks about us humbling ourselves before God and going Heavenly Father, you know best. You know better than every, uh, than me and everything. 
And because I know that this is the case, I am going to humble myself before you. I am going to deny my fleshly desires. I am going to put to death my fleshly desires because I am humbling myself before you. And from that foundation of us making ourselves, our hearts right before God, we can step out and know that from that foundation, that focus point, which is ensuring that we are walking in a manner worthy of our salvation, from that, we then go out to interact, to love the people around us, to walk in gentleness with the people around us, to walk with patience with the people around us. I encourage you today, humble yourself before the Father. And as you humble yourself before him, as you humble yourself before him, watch as the rest of your behavior, the rest of your character, the rest of your life falls more in line with the will the perfect will of God. If you have any thoughts on the verses that we've read today, I encourage you, throw them down in the comments below. We would love to see them. Share them with your Sunny Hill family. And until tomorrow, goodbye.